Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Michelle and it's February 1st, Monday, and today is week 31 with keto for me. Um, as you could tell, I'm still sick. I actually caught another cold, so I'm still trying to heal from being sick over the holidays, and then I got a cold. So that kind of sucks, and then Ryan's obviously still sick. I don't know if any of you guys have been following. I don't know if, where I've been talking about it. I've been talking about it, I think, in a couple different places. But anyway, so I'm still sick. Um, I have like sinus congestion, but I always have sinus problems. I'm doing my video up a little late today because I went to the dentist today for like the first time in forever. I don't even want to tell you guys how long. And I got a bunch of shots and my lips were like all like that. And so I didn't want to like come on camera and be drooling and stuff. So I think it's like nine o'clock at night right now. But I took my weigh-in earlier, obviously I always do in the morning time, so let's go ahead and jump on into the weigh-in. Hey guys, it's Monday, February 2nd, I'm going to do my weigh-in. Weigh 87.0. Yay! Woo -woo. I'm like pretty surprised at that number. Um, I have been, you know, eating more calories like I told you guys I was going to, like for my breast milk and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I've been doing pretty well, like, you know, not under eating, which was a problem that I was having, like, right before Christmas, um, you know, for my breast milk, not for the diet part. So you guys, if you're full at 1,400 calories, then don't try to, like, feed yourself some fat. Basically, all you have to do, oh, let me jump, let me, like, start and talk about my weighing really quick. So I weighed in this morning at 187.0 and last week was what was it 189.4 so that's down 2.4 pounds which is more than my goal which has been evening out you know when you um diet and like weigh yourself and stuff like that you know you might go week to week but it fluctuates still day to day week to week it fluctuates what you want to like pay most attention to is like your m end of the month how much you've lost like at the end of the month or something like that so um you know, with these small losses that I have every now and then, one point something here, one point something there, and then I come out with a two or like a 2.4, you know, it all, you know, balances out. You never want to give up if you see like a plus one on the scale, you know, you could be menstruating or something. I don't, I haven't had my, uh, what do you call it, shark week? Is that what everyone's calling it now? Okay, I haven't had shark week in like, since I was pregnant with my daughter, because I'm breastfeeding and it just hasn't come back yet, so I'm not complaining, I, I swear. But, um. So overall, what is this, 31 weeks, I'm down 71 pounds, exactly, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I was just calculating, like, how much more I need to lose until I reach my goal weight, um, which is 150. And I have 37 more pounds to go until I reach my goal weight. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to slow down, like, a ton, because, um, you know, I've been wanting to work out for a long time. I have not been working out. I've been feeling like such crap. The biggest workout I've been getting, like, honestly is lifting my daughter, like, she, we were in the store today, and she was crying, 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 she's, she's so sick, too, oh my god, her fever was, like, 104, you guys, I was, like, but we, we got it down, and we, she's better now, but she still has a cold, but we were in the store, and I was, like, taking her, I was, like, and caught her, and caught her, and, like, so I did that, like, a whole bunch, because that was the only thing that was making her smile, and make her happy, because she was a crabby butt today, but, so that's my workout and like that's pretty much it. I haven't put together any more workouts. I've been super, super tired. I've been super, super sick. I've been taking care of Aurora and I've been just trying to recover. So I've been just listening to my body. Um, I also stopped taking magnesium and potassium. I'm just taking my prenatal vitamins and my aspirin that I normally take every day. I've just been sticking with that because... Um, like I was telling you guys before, I was having nail problems, and I do have, I did make a doctor's appointment. I had my dental appointment today. I made a doctor's appointment. I do want to talk to my doctor. Well, I, I have numbness from my knee to my, to my ankle on both legs on my skin. So I have numbness. Like I'll, I'll be shaving my legs and I won't be able to feel the razor, like in most of the areas of that section of my leg. And I also um, have told you guys in the past that my nails are totally. Oh my god, let me see if it picks it up on camera. See how bumpy it is? And then like, it's starting to get pointy, like, and rigid. Oh, let me put it right there. See, look at that. What the hell? It's like pointy. It's so crazy. So I'm going to talk to my doctor when I actually see him and see if it's a deficiency. I noticed it. <coughs> Excuse me. I noticed it when I um started taking 
a lot of the magnesium and potassium. So maybe I'll ask him about that and see if that's why. So I stopped taking that as well. It's around the same time I noticed my hair was falling out a lot. It's still falling out, you guys. But I don't know if it's more or less than what is normal. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll keep you posted on that. Once I start to see, like, a bald spot, I'll let you know. I'll show you guys, okay? But, um, so, yeah. I totally forgot what I was talking about before I went into my weigh-in. Okay, so I had to go back and, like, rewatch what I was talking about. Because, like, I'm a space cadet and I totally forgot what I was even talking about. But I was talking about if you're full and satisfied and you're like woo, way under on your calories you don't even worry about it because as long as you're not like overeating on your protein as long as you meet your protein you want to meet your protein because it's important and you want to not go over 20 carbs so if you meet your protein and you don't go over on your carbs which is 20 net carbs um you can play with fat all you want you can you know eat under eat or whatever but if you're still trying to get into ketosis i wouldn't like try your hardest not to um, overeat because usually in the beginning it takes you a while to feel satisfied off of just eating like lower calories but higher fat you know and low carb you'll get there um, in the very beginning I was kind of hungry more often and then I introduced intermittent fasting I believe at seven week seven and I noticed that at that point I was totally fine waiting to eat until later that's why I started I didn't start just because I was like oh maybe it'll help me lose weight faster I was hoping that I would not feel so hungry all the time and since I started to not feel so hungry I would have my bulletproof coffee which some people still disagree with me on you know you can have cream in your coffee you can have um, fat in your coffee whatever just as long as you're fasting long enough to burn it off and then plus burn off some of your like body fat right after that before you have your next meal you're fine um, you might not lose like as much weight as you want. Putting like six tablespoons of cream and butter and coconut oil into your coffee and like having two of those, like you won't lose weight if you're packing on a whole bunch of calories throughout the day. But you can still intermittent fast and still have your fat fast or you know your cream in your coffee, still have your fat in your coffee or whatever. And if you don't do coffee, then maybe if you like the savory route, you can do some chicken bouillon or something like that. It might have a little bit of carbs, so you want to be careful with that. I only put one teaspoon in my drinks when I have it, and that's like way more than enough. Sometimes I'll do half a teaspoon in the 8-ounce glass of water, and that's been helping a lot. If I feel a headache coming on, I'll just drink some pickle juice, or I will drink some chicken broth or chicken bouillon or something like that. So that's helped out a lot, because I did have a couple really bad headaches this last two weeks okay so moving on I did put up that video for pizza I hope you guys like it um, it took me a couple weeks to edit it because I you know obviously have been sick and I wanted it to be like not too too long so I had to edit it a bunch and then fast forward and like do all kinds of crazy stuff so I hope you guys liked it it was really fun to make and I thought it turned out like relatively decent considering my setup or lack thereof so I was pretty happy with that but um, I think that's it for this video, you guys. Um, I hope I'm feeling better by next Monday because that'll be like way too long of a period of being sick, especially on keto. I could tell you this, that even though I am as sick as I am, I don't feel like complete crap. So that's good. But um, I'll let you guys know how I feel next week. And any requests or anything like that, just comment down below. If I need to touch on something that I haven't talked about, let me know. If you guys want to do a Q&A, hit me up on my Instagram if you have any questions and I could write them all down and like answer them in a video. That could be helpful if I'm like missing on points that you guys are interested about. But other than that, I'm going to put my MyFitnessPal here for anybody that's new that doesn't follow me on my fitness pal and wants to see everything I eat because I post it in there. Um, also, my Instagram, I'll put right here, and my favorite um, keto adaptation. It's my favorite Facebook group for keto eaters. They're totally awesome. They're not rude and judgmental like some groups will be, and they're not like hardcore and won't gripe on you, but there are certain rules, but they're all super friendly people, so keto adaptation. Let's put that there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.